Guys, guys, everybody has been waiting. It's the announcement now. People want to know. Hello everyone and welcome to our first ever Ingabas African Genome Challenge Winner Announcement Edition. What a journey this has been. My name is Pula Shabalala and I am here with the beautiful, the gorgeous, the amazing, the lovely dressed <laughs> Lindsay Tube. Lindsay, how are you? I'm well, Pula, and how are you? I'm fantastic, I'm fantastic. Exciting times ahead. Exciting indeed. I mean, I'm very excited to be part of the African Genome Challenge. And I mean, as we went through the videos that were sent in for the competition, yeah. I gained a lot of insight on how scientists from different African regions are trying to preserve the African biodiversity yeah. and also improve the standard of living using molecular biology as a tool. But as I've already mentioned, tonight is about announcing the winners. <laughs> yes. But but before we get to that, let's get a word from our technology partners that brought us the PEC BioSQL 2E system. Hello. On behalf of all of us at PEC Bio, I would like to congratulate the winners of the Africa Genome Challenge, organized by Incaba Biotech, Africa's genomics company. My name is Jonas Korlach. I'm Chief Science Officer at PEC Bio. I was very excited when I learned about the Africa Genome Challenge and was really impressed and inspired by all the great entries and proposals. We feel very privileged to support the African research community to make PEC bio hi fi sequencing available in Africa through Incaba Biotech. It is clear that hi fi reads, which uniquely provide sequence reads that are both long and accurate, are very advantageous for the proposed genome sequencing projects, as they represent the best-in-class data type for de novo genome assemblies, as well as for many other sequencing applications. In addition, the new SQL 2E system, with its on-instrument data processing, is the only sequencer available that outputs hi-fi reads, resulting in much less need and required investment in downstream computing power. Congratulations again to the winners of the Africa Genome Challenge. We all look forward to great science ahead with these exciting projects. And a big thank you to Dr. Jonas Kola. And who better to tell us more about how great the PEP bio system is than the chief scientific officer himself. A big shout out to you guys. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lindsay, could you please explain to our viewers how the voting or rather how the winners will be announced? So for this challenge, we had six categories, namely Metagenomics, invertebrates and microbes, vertebrates, plants, East Africa selection and West Africa selection. A winner will be announced for each category. And also we have an additional exciting announcement. So keep watching. Finally, it's time to announce the winners. And the first category is about the study of genomes in a mixed community of organisms. Yes, you guessed it right. It is metagenomics. I really find it interesting. I mean to get to study all bacteria or fungi in one sample and then get to differentiate them. Amazing! Right? So, with over 3,000 views, the winner for metagenomics category is... Reefs worldwide are threatened by climate change and we are on track to lose over 90% of corals within the next 30 years. Now I take a lot of interest in plants from technologies that can grow herbs without soil to sequencing genomes that have medicinal properties. Now in this category we receive super interesting entries from plants that can withstand drought and other environmental stresses to plants that can assist us in the fight against climate change. And now for the winner in the plants category we have fifty eight percent of seagrass meadows are in decline. Every thirty minutes we lose an area the size of a football field. Now, exactly eleven years ago, Inava Biotech opened its very first subsidiary office. And can you guess where this was? Mm. Let me give you a clue. It's in a place that is also known as the green city in the sun. Okay, I got it, I got it. 
it's Nairobi. Nairobi. In this category, with a whopping over 7,000 views, I give you the winner of the East Africa selection. Drum roll. Priscilla Kumani from Kenya and uh, I would like to sequence the genome of this tree right yes. here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have in my hands the surprise we've been going oh, no, on. Bule. No, no. We are now going to announce the winners for the last three categories. Okay. Then you'll have your stage. Okay, so now our next category is about the species that play a very important role in the environment, yeah. even without a backbone. I give you now the invertebrates and microbes category with over 7,000 views. Awesome. And the, the winner, winner in the invertebrate and microbes category is. Drum roll! <laughs> Studying the genomes of photosynthetic organisms that can survive in extreme conditions like seed and ion. Wow, wow, wow. For our next category, I must say, this has been very exciting with a whopping view of over 13,000. Big number? Very big. We have not only one, but two, two winners, winners with a combined vote of over 3,000. This was a very competitive group and we enjoyed every project that was submitted. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the winner of the West Africa Selection! In this proposal, we want to sequence the genome of Maroka Vitrata. In this project, we seek to sequence the genome of the African catfish in order to obtain data that will facilitate better understanding of its biology. We now present to you the last category, but definitely not the least. The category that we fall in, the category with the most intelligent species. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner for the category of vertebrates is... Watch your screen! So the bush buck, scientifically speaking, would be the obvious choice for this challenge. So, William, Yo. now that we have announced the winners for the six categories, you can go ahead and mention the surprise. Wow! Thank you so much, Lindsay. You're welcome. I've been looking forward to mentioning this big surprise to you guys. So, we have five additional winning projects that have been selected and also will be sequenced in the PAD BioSQL 2 eSystem. Keep your eyes glued on the screen to see if your projects are selected. a cow or a sheep with facial eczema that looks like a sunburn? I would like to sequence this as an autobacter species so as to determine their genetic relatedness and long-term goal of this project is to develop improved guinea fowl lions with much better meat and Our research is focused on the Rian Mietiki or zero fronted right. humans. And that brings us to the end of the Inglava's African Genome Challenge Winner Announcement Edition. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who participated in this project, from our staff at Inglava to the beautiful scientists in and around Africa that have submitted their beautiful projects. Also, not forgetting to mentioning the voters, you guys played a very big role in this assignment. We'd also like to take this moment and raise your pipettes. 
and YouTube and wish a big, big congratulations to all our winners. Now, all our winners will be contacted by our team at Inglab Biotech, samples collected, and they will be sequenced right here at Inglab Biotech Pretoria headquarters. So, for regular updates, please follow us on all our social media platforms. From Bule and Lindsay, till, till next time. time. Bye! Bye.